Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. It seems like it becomes just a little bit more difficult to get enough exercise during the winter months, but there are plenty of health and wellness opportunities here in Cape Girardeau to get couch potatoes off the sofa and get moving. I'm joined now by Christine Page. She's the city's fitness and wellness coordinator. Christine, thank you so much for coming by to talk with yes, us. Yes, thank you for having me. So there is a health and wellness expo coming up on, on January the 9th here in Cape Girardeau. Tell us a, a yes. little bit about this expo. Yes, this is our first one. We're really excited. Um, like you said, it's January 9th. It's going to be 1 to 6. It is a Friday. So if you are working, make sure you come by on your lunch break or come after. Um, but it's free admission and it's great for everybody. We have things, everything from seniors, we have a whole section for them, we have things for adults, and even down to children. So if you do have children at home, um, or if they can get out of school early, bring them on by. We'll have like bounce houses and fun fitness activities even for them. So. So who are, some, who are some of the organizations that will be, uh, be participating in this? Sure, we have a wide variety. We have over 50 vendors. Um, majority of them will be having uh, different types of screenings. So a lot of the hospitals are helping us out with that as long, along with us. Um, and we'll have everything from elite travel, AARP, um, everything from insurance, chiropractors, physicians, um, a pretty good variety. We'll have Smoothie King there. Lots of great businesses are joining us. Pretty, we try to get a pretty good wide variety of anything that has to do with health and wellness. So. So will there be, what kind of activities will people be able to, uh, to take part in if they show sure, up? Sure, there's lots of fun activities. For instance, like kids, they can join in gymnastics and karate. Um, adults can try out our flexibility and vision testing. Um, and they can try some of the new fitness things. We'll have Zumba going on. We'll have Rockstar Fitness, some of our new things. Um, all different group fitness. We'll have some of our personal trainers there that they can kind of learn a little bit more about our facility as well as the other facilities and learn some of the exercises that available for them. Will this be a, a chance for people to, to sign up for, uh, for, for, for different programs and things like oh, that? Oh yes. Um, a lot, that's why we invited a lot of the different gyms as well. They can learn about our fees at the Osage Center with the City of Cape and they can learn about the other gyms and find out their fees. They can sign up for that. They can sign up for group fitness classes. Um, they can sign up the kids for karate or gymnastics, whatever their interest may be. So is this something where you can just kind of show up any time between 1 and 6 that day mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and participate? Or are there going to be like a, a scheduled, scheduled events throughout the, throughout the day? Sure. Most of it will be going on the whole time from 1 to 6 p.m. But there will be a few things. For instance, we're having cooking demos. And we'll have some that are going on at certain times. So if you want to see a certain dietitian doing a certain cooking demonstration, or if you want to come to Zumba, or if you want to come to Rockstar Fitness or Cardio Drumming, which is a class we'll be having as well, you come to that at that certain time frame, which you can find on our website. So, so overall, I mean, what's the kind of the, what's the big goal of, of this type of uh, health and wellness expo? Sure. The main goal of this, it's called New Year, New You. So we're focus on, focusing on getting people to find the new healthy you. So finding the new activities and finding something to help make them more healthy during the well wellness as well. So a lot of folks, their big New Year's resolution is going to be, you know, exercise more or eat better. Mm -hmm. um, what are some, what are some, some, some tips you have for people to, to take that resolution from beyond being something you want to do mm -hmm. and something that you, that you maintain throughout the year? Sure. Main thing is planning. So make sure you have it in line what you want to do. You know what you want to do. How do you reach that? So either you can meet with your trainer or dietitian or go online and do your own research. But find out what it is and how you're going to do it and then write it down. Write it down. So say if you're wanting to lose weight, a good thing is to track in your diet. So make sure you're tracking your diet down every day and paying attention to that. And always put it on your calendar. If you want to start exercising, put it right there every day on your calendar. So when it pops up, you make sure you do it. You don't just hit the dismiss button. So you're actually getting there for it. Do you, do you have any, any uh, apps that you would recommend for folks for, for either for, for nutrition or for, or for exercise or anything like that? Sure, yes. I'm a huge app fan. They're always great. They're right there at your hand. Um, for nutrition, my favorite one would be at My Fitness Pal. It's wonderful, it's easy, and it's free, which is always good. But you can just scan your food if there's a barcode on there, or, and everything will pop up when you scan it. Or if you want to type it in, it's got a huge database. You just type it in, lots of just pops up, and you just click on the one that you want, click on how much you ate, and then it's right there. And it's also great with my clients and even your friends. You can share it with them, and you can become friends with them. It's a little social aspect to it. So. You can kind of see what your friends are eating or what your clients and what your trainer is having. So it's kind of a little motivation behind it. So one of the things that uh, has always kind of been an impediment for me to, to, to just starting exercise or to get enough exercise is, is having kids and having mm -hmm. a kid. And what, is, do, you, do you have some advice for, for parents? What do you do when you have small kids in order to, to get some exercise yourself or even kind of share that time with your, with your children? Sure. Uh, just remember every second counts. So whether you're in the morning, you're getting up, you're going for your child, or you're taking a dog for a walk, 
Um, and even at night, you can grab your children and take them with you. You can either take them to the fitness center or you can take them for a walk, go play basketball, volleyball. Have fun with your kids. Keep them active along with you. And remember, during the work day, you're busy. You may be sitting at a desk all day. Try to get up every 30 minutes. And find that little time if you're going shopping at night. Remember to park furthest away so that little counts, you know. Every calorie counts in there. So just try to get moving when you can. Don't, don't take the elevator. Make sure exactly. you, make sure you take, take the stairs. Exactly. Take those stairs, yeah. yes. So are, are there any, um, any, any particular uh, foods that, that are just, it's just best to completely avoid if you can? <laughs> well, there's no good or bad food per se, but there are some foods that basically are full of calories and have no nutrients. For instance, like soda, those sugary snacks, like those cookies and things we like during the holidays. You just want to be careful and have everything in moderation. So if you are going to have a little bit of the sweets, remember a, a small slice can go a long way. And with and with the with the sodas um, mm -hmm. or juices really also have I mean, have, a, have a lot of have a, have a lot of sugar. What are some What are some good drinks that you that you can drink that aren't that aren't you know packed with with sugar? Yes, well, some great ways to change it up so you don't get tired of the same old water is add some flavoring to it. So either those little packets that have no calorie or very little calorie, or even add fruits to your water. I love doing that. You can add strawberries, cherries, lemon, lime, kiwi, anything to add to add a little bit of zest to it and change it up. It's like you have a whole new drink, but it's still super healthy for you. And then at the end, you have a little snack at the bottom of your glass. Christine Page is Cape Girardeau's fitness and wellness coordinator. Christine, thank you so much for coming thank by. Thank you for having me.